Welcome back, crafters. Today I would like to show you how I made two different yet similar spring topiaries. So, let's get started. I found these foam footballs at the Dollar Tree and they have a little bit of an over edge. So I took my sand block and I'm just sanding off those rough edges to make it smooth because I am going to paint them. I'm using Rust-Oleum white paint just to give it a coat. I'm not going to be real particular about it because I am going to cover them. But I wanted to spray them white to take some of the color away to keep it from bleeding through with my paper that I'm going to put on it. And then also I'm going to put the orange topiary in a margarita glass. So I sprayed it white also. After it dried, I brought it inside and I found these round foam blocks from the Dollar Tree. And so I just glued it fit perfectly inside of the margarita glass. Next, I am going to take a beautiful spring napkin that I found at the Dollar Tree and I am going to glue it onto my biggest football. This will be the bottom. I'm giving the football a generous la layer of Mod Podge. Now these napkins did have a second napkin underneath that I didn't realize, so you want to make sure that you're just getting the top part. After I get the napkin on there, I do go over the whole thing again with another layer of Mod Podge. I want to make sure that any edges that are sticking up are glued down. These napkins turned out so nice. I did have to take some extra from the colored part of the napkin and cover some of the football that wasn't covered by the first piece. However, it still turned out nice. Now I have a kebab stick stuck in the bottom of them because I am going to use those to attach them together. However, I did get these kebab sticks from the Dollar Tree and they were a little more flimsy than I wanted them to be. So I did end up doubling the sticks to make them a little bit more sturdy. On this football, this is the middle section, I found this beautiful tissue paper at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just again putting Mod Podge on the football. I'm going to glue it down and then I'm going to go over it again with a generous layer of the glue.
It looks like it's all bunched up on the end. However, I like that look. It gives it a textured look. To get it smooth, you may have to do it in pieces, but I just put it all on one sheet. This is the top layer. This football does have a little bit of indentation, so it had a little texture to begin with. And this is more of the tissue paper that I found at the Dollar Tree. And I'm just repeating the steps that I did for the other two with generous layers of the Mod Podge. I did have to cut some of the excess off on this one. So I just trimmed it and then layered it real good with glue. I did let these dry several hours before I tried to put them together. I wanted to make sure the glue was dried and all of the crevices and all of the folds. Next, I took my utility knife. I wanted the bottom football to sit a little bit more flat on the foam in the margarita glass. So I just took the utility knife. I'm cutting, cutting off the more pointed end because I want to make it more flat. There. So I'm just cutting down my kebab sticks and putting them in there. I did find that it was a little difficult, so I ended up taking my pencil and pushing it down in there to make a hole so that the kebab sticks would fit in there better. And then I'm just going to center it on the floral foam and push it in. I'm going to repeat the same for the middle one. And I did forget to tell you that I spray painted some shower curtain rings. I wanted to use them as spacers between each of the footballs. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm gluing those shower curtain rings on. I did three between each one of them.
Next, I'm just putting on the top of the topiary, the top football. And you can't see it in this view, but I did find some extra of the egg picks from the Dollar Tree. And there was an orange one in there, so I did use the orange one on the very top. And then to start my florals, I'm just taking some moss and putting it around the bottom. And I found these orange tulips at Walmart. They were actually inexpensive. And I thought they went well with the colors of the tissue paper. So I'm just going around the bottom with the tulips. I did end up putting two bunches around the bottom. I tried just one and it just needed more. Then I'm going into the back with a little bit of onion grass. Then I'm just going to pop a few of the tulips in between the layers and a little bit of baby breath. Next, I'm going to put a bow between each layer. I did get this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I have had a little bit of difficulty finding some springtime ribbon. Our Dollar Tree seems to be out most of the time. But I did find this last week and it just goes perfect with the orange tulips. I just made a shoelace bow to put in between each layer. You could do however big of a bow that you would like.
Then I just dovetailed the ends of the ribbon to give it that finished look. And this is how it turned out. I think this turned out great. The colors just popped and I really, really enjoyed doing the project with those orange tulips. Now I had done this project similar to it a week before and however I did not get this topiary on film but I wanted to tell you on this one I basically used the same concept as I did with the orange one except for I did have a round a uh, white bowl that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree. I believe actually it was a soup bowl that I used for the bottom. And on this one, I just used the white tulips. And I used two different color tissue paper uh, for the bottom layer and for the third layer. Now this one, it wasn't as sturdy as the three foot ball because um, I put a taller, this one was taller because I used an extra football on the top. However, it still turned out nice. As you can see, um, the top, I got this from Hobby Lobby and the little paper roses. The ribbon I got from Walmart and here you can see the contrast between the layers and the tissue paper and I do believe these tulips I got from Walmart also. Again I just did this one like I did the orange tulip topiary with just a little variation. If you've liked what you've seen today, please hit the like button below and subscribe. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, happy crafting!